Yo, what's going on everybody? It is Arcanize here and welcome back to another video on the channel. As you can see from the title today, I'm going to be reviewing Man of Steel. I'm going to try and keep this short because this is the second time I've recorded this. So, let's get into it. Man of Steel is the first film in the DCEU that came out in 2013 and it once again tells the story of Clark Kent after he's been sent to Earth because his planet was destroyed. Now, it doesn't have that disdain power of Iron Man, but I think this was a fairly good way to kick off the DC EU. And I'm going to just sum it up in one word right now. If I had to sum up Man of Steel in one word, it would be decent. So let's get into the positives. I like Henry Cavill as Superman for the most part. And I like how we got some more backstory on the destruction of Krypton. I thought that was pretty well done. It was a little long. Like, it was a little longer. But... It, it was interesting, and the action in this movie is very solid. The CGI is very solid. The special effects are pretty decent. Like, they didn't use the same flying animation 16 and a half times. <laughs> Quest for peace. <laughs> oh, sorry there. Had a little cough. But, I mean, the plot is... It's simple, but it works, okay? It works, and... General Zod is the best villain in the DCEU, hands down. All the other villains are. But Zod really stands out, and I loved the performance for him. But now, let's get into the negatives I have. Now, I know 18,564 YouTubers and reviewers across the world have already stated this, but come on. Is that Superman? He... I don't know. He, that's not my Superman, and I'm not even a huge Superman fan. I know a lot of people say, if you're not a Superman fan, you'll like this movie, and if you are a Superman fan, you won't. I I like this movie, but I do agree that Superman wouldn't, like, I'll get into this more later, but that is an issue, and then my only other one, which is a pretty big one, is the final 45 minutes of this movie, 45 minutes, guys, is two invincible people punching each other, two invincible people punching each other, and after seeing, like, the second time I watched this, it was just so boring. I just wanted to skip it. But the action is very good. But it's just kind of, it's like, okay, it could be the best action in the world. But it's still just two invincible people punching each other. And come on, Superman. You led Zod into the city and you fought him in you could have let him away you could have fought him somewhere else you killed more people than the bad guys superman like okay i know that's an exaggeration but like he could have avoided so many casualties but he, there were a lot of unnecessary casualties in that and i don't think they did that right it's just i i don't know like superman could have contained that more and i I think, personally, my Superman that I've come to know as a comic book fan, he wouldn't have had to kill Zod. He would have found another way. But he still killed him, and that is a negative. But honestly, this movie's pretty good. It's like my second favorite in the DCEU. So, guys, I am going to give this movie a straight-up 8 out of 10. Okay, guys, I know this is totally awkward, but I thought about it some more, you know, and I didn't want to re-record the whole thing. I'm actually going to give it a 7.8 out of 10. It it has its problems, but if you like Superman or you're just a comic book fan, go for it. And now into the outro. 
So hopefully you guys enjoyed this review. If you did, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. I hope you have a fantastic rest of your day, and peace out.